Shalom. All praises, honor, and glory go to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham Racha Kodash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. His name means He exists, you know, He to be, because He's the existing one, Yahweh. And the name of His Son is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai means He Savior, He Deliverer. Double honor unto the apostles and elder bishops of great millstone that rule well, that rule well and that taught us his truth, among many other things. And salutations to all the sincere Achim out there that are doing the work, you know, going out on the highways and byways, waking up the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the true Hebrew Israelites that the Bible speaks of, man, you know. So, yeah, man, you saw it. It's uh, another thing, you know, that's going on in the field of uh, witchcraft and, uh, you know, simping. And, you know, this world is all about putting, you know, harlots and, you know, whores, you know, with the W. <laughs> you know, in the Dutch, it starts with the H, but hey, it's the same, man. These females are just being put right up there on the pedestal you know i wanted to make a, a certain comment you know <laughs> but they shouldn't be put on there let me just say that um you saw the madness which goes straight into witchcraft man it goes straight into witchcraft the heavenly father has an order you know and let me just start off with, start off with this Exodus 22 verse 18 thou shalt not suffer a witch to live cuz this is pure witchcraft you saw the website you know yoni yoni goes into you know the vagin uh, basically the vagina of a female according to uh, some uh, tantra and some uh, let me just go into it. Here you see it. Yoni is the uh, body part. Uh, Sankrit is the tent. And so that's the, you know, it says something that I can't read. But Yoni is the English version. And it is the tantric term for the female sexual organs, the vulva, you know, the vagina and uterus. And this goes all into, you know, female worshiping. And you saw the, this is not something that, oh, <laughs> is a joke. It's funny. This is serious witchcraft, man. You see that? So let me go into the English. And Sankrit goes, if I'm correct, goes to the, uh, I thought it was going to the cool. You see how you see? Sankrit is the sacred language of Hinduism. The language of classical Hindu philosophy. So you see, and historical texts, and of historical texts of Buddhism and Jainism. It was a link language in the ancient and medieval South Asia, and upon transmission of Hindu and Buddhist culture to Southeast Asia, East Asia, and Central Asia in the early medieval era. So you see, um, this is what it is about. Don't want to go all in there. Let me just, yeah, you can read this for yourself if you want. But, you know, the, the info is clear. Lord will. You know, it's, uh, so, these East Indians, you know, it goes all the way back to that Yoni. And that's uh, sometimes called Pindika. Uh, and it's an abstract or an iconic representation of the Hindu goddess Shakti. And there you have it. The deities, you know, all the worshiping of all types of uh, crazy deities out there. Here with eight arms and all that. Same thing with um, a lot of things that Esau, Edom is putting out there. You know, just like uh, how the elder Yashawamba went into thug and into diva, which also goes into different deities that are being heavily pushed upon the people, you know, thug life, you know, 
and all the diva attitude and you know all the things that they put in out there through your you know celebrities like uh, Tupac and Mariah Carey and you know Beyonce and all of them man you know it's all about idol worship with them so the more you go off the more distance you create um, you know between uh, uh, the Most High and you and it's your our own evil works that create that distance like the book of uh, Isaiah states so it goes into Shakti you know yeah, I had to put it out <laughs> but <laughs> you see in Hinduism Shakti you know it goes into energy ability strength effort power capability yeah, with all them arms, you better be able to clean something up. But hey, let me stay serious. I can't take this shit serious, but it is a serious uh, topic. But, you know, it's, fundam it's the fundamental cosmic energy and essential deity within Shaktism. A significant theological tradition of Hinduism, you know. So, uh, let me just jump down. She embodies feminine energy and is often depicted as the consort of Shiva. Yeah, and that's another thing, you know. So, but I don't want to go all up in there, you know, <laughs> but hey, let me just go back to the, to the point, you know, yeah, it's, it's a lot here, man, but, you know, let me just go on. Um, Yoni, sometimes called uh, Pindika, is an abstract or uh, an iconic, let me go into that, an, an iconism. The, is the absence of artistic representations, icons of the natural and supernatural worlds, or it is the absence of representation of certain figures in religions. It is a feature of various cultures, particularly of cultures which are based on the monotheistic Abrahamic religions, to prohibit the, the prohibit uh, prohibition, the prohibition. Well, so the prohibition of material representations may only extend from uh, God, as it says here, and other supernatural beings to saint-like characters, or it may extend to the material, uh, to material representations of all living beings and material representations of everything that exists. The phenomenon is generally uh, codified by religious traditions, and as such, it is it becomes a taboo when it when it is informed, enforced by the physical destruction of images, and iconism becomes iconoclasm. And iconoclasm is the destruction of, of the, you know, the altering of, um, you know, certain um, images. Let me go on and look if I can get a, another definition. And Meaning, an iconism is the absence of artistic representation, <clears throat> icons of the natural and supreme nat su supernatural world, or it is the absence of representations of certain figures in religions. Yeah, basically, if you don't see a picture, you know, there's no picture, no picture of the heavenly Father, and you know, basically goes into that. Um, but we believe true faith, you know. Faith is the substance of things not seen. You know, you can go into um, into that. Let me just go into, you're going to want to butcher that one. And first, uh, let me first go to um, this. Let me see, so that I don't lose that one. Hebrews 11, verse 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, which also goes into faith, hope, the evidence of things not seen. And also, we haven't seen Yahweh nor Yahweh Shai, but we have faith, and that is a gift according to predestination. You know, Yahweh Dazah, we are not only called, but also chosen. So, Deuteronomy 18, verse 9. Spiritism forbidden. When thou art come into the land which the Lord thy power Yahweh giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations 
of those nations, those wicked, uh, you know, heavy um, sins, you cannot do. It's a disgusting thing. Abomination, abominable, in ritual sense of unclean food, idols, like Shakti, and the rest, you know. Mixed marriages, uh, in ethical sense of wickedness. So, you know, there's idols, you can't be doing that. It's something disgusting, morally, i.e., uh, an abhorrence, something that you need to stay away from, you know, but you're still doing it, you know, like sodomy. It doesn't matter if you do that to a woman, like, oh, that's not, it is still sodomy. You're going into the back door. The back door is the exit, you know. You don't need no damn sign above that, you know, that says uh, here, exit with a, you know, you know what it is for. Still, people choose to, you know, go into the back door. You know, it's not allowed. It's sodomy. Especially idolatry or, or concretely an idol, abominable, custom thing, abomination. And what is abominable to be a female worshiper? Because you cannot make that damn female your idol. She is made to help the man. That's it. Deuteronomy 18, verse 10. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter pass to pass through the fire, or that use a divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, you know, you're talking with the dead, or a wizard, or a necromancer. So here it is that you're doing all types of wickedness. The wizard is a, is a male witch. Which you see a lot being glorified in the movies like uh, Lord of the Rings and, you know, with Merlin and all that. You know, a necromancer, you dealing with uh, dead bodies, you know. Necro goes into, uh, what was it? I forgot, it's dead. Oh, let me go to the word to be sure. Let me see. You see a necromancer, the etymology, the root meaning of the word. It goes to uh, negromancer, negromancer. It goes to sorcerer, and negro, and it goes into black. You know, you see adapt in black magic, negro, uh, negro, because uh, you know they call us uh, all types of. Names to go back to black, which is darkness, which is void of light, which is which is going into things that are the opposite of righteous uh, and the opposite of being clean, you know, the opposite of being, uh, you know, spiritually well or spiritually beautiful. So from old French Negro Mancere. Negromancy, see necromancy properly, one who communicates with the dead. So basically, that's what it is. You have a necrophile, and that goes into people doing all types of rituals, sticking their stuff into, or you know, climbing on top of the dead bodies, and you know, doing all types of wickedness. Um, so you cannot do that, or charm, or consult with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. So for all that do so, like for all that do, these things are an abomination to the Lord Yahweh. And because of these abominations, the Lord, that power, uh, do it drive them out from before thee. Thou shalt be perfect with the Lord, thy power, Yahweh. So you see, you cannot do these things, man. And you know what it is in America? <clears throat> Salafia. Isaiah 47. Let me jump down. <clears throat> Verse 12. Stand now with thine enchantments and with thy multitude of uh, and with the multitude of thy sorceries. Which goes into uh, witchcraft and all types of craziness. 
wherein thou hast labored from thy youth since America was, you know, so called uh, established, you know, by the so called founding fathers, I wanted to say. You know, they've been doing all types of demonic shit. It is building bloodshed, is one thing. Um, a lot of these devils build their places upon the bones of our people or to do witchcraft with our people like uh, the skull and bones they say they have the skull of geronimo one of the uh the northern tribes you know the so-called indigenous american uh, the indigenous people of them of the americans so of the americas i must say so the so-called indigenous people of the americas and the so-called indians as they devils these devils uh have named them, which Indian goes into into savage, and the so-called white man is the savage. You know, he's the one that rapes, robs, and murders, and then acts like he is the he's the hero. You know, and we are evil. You know, but um. So um, wherein thou has labored from thy youth, if so be thou shalt be able to profit. If so be thou mayest prevail. Thou art wearied in the multitude of thy counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly pro prognosticators stand up. You see, all them people that look to for signs and, you know, deal with astrology, you know, all, uh, you know, they, they, they are going to predict what's going to happen. And some of them think uh, uh, things might be on, on point because these people deal with spirits. And they, the, these spirits have been here. They live forever. So they go to these spirits and they get information. And this is how Esau gets his, uh, you know, knowledge and by doing these rituals. You know, of course, the most I set them up over us, but through their uh, left hand magic, and witchcraft because they come after the working of Satan. You can read Second Thessalonians two and eight them down. You know, and when you go to Ephesians chapter two, verse uh, one and two, you know, and maybe three, it goes into the children of disobedience, which these devils are. Um, you know, it's evident that they are disobeying, and that word disobedience goes into. The opposing of the divine will, you know, the same thing with devil. The out goes into diablos. You know, the devil know that he had but a short time. Revelation twelve twelve, the word, the word devil goes into diablos, which goes into one that opposes uh, the heavenly Father and chooses to side to side with Satan, man. You know, and their works are after Satan, so it, it, they are the fleshly counterparts of the spiritual being Satan. You know, so these so-called white people, that's why I see triple six everywhere uh, among the Canuto, you know, the horned hand, you know, so-called rock on. That's all Satanism, man. It's all things, symbols, and, 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 and uh, all types of signs that they throw out there, and that creates a vibration on the left-hand side. And a lot of these, um, if you go to these concerts, like with Rihanna, certain things they cut out. You know, I saw a clip of her throwing up the so-called rock, the so-called diamond, which goes, you know, the wrestler diamond Dallas Page. You know, when I was a young, you know, child, I saw these uh, wrestlers, and he was throwing up the diamond cutter, and then he throw the diamond up, and then he break broke it on his knee. You know, so to say, you know, symbolically, but it was his thing, and he even sued Jay Z for that uh, gesture. You know, that that Jay Z took from him. But it is all, it's not uh, his uh, trademark. He made it his trademark, but it goes back to all types of wickedness, man. You know, from the youth up, they've been, you know, baiting themselves in nastiness on the left-hand side. You know, through their industries and all that, they have people going through rituals to perpetuate that wickedness that witchcraft and they might look good these these females and all that you know sound nice or whatever but they are witches and the scripture says suffer not a witch to live you see but uh, behold 
they shall be a stubble. So all these people that are doing this will be taken down. The fire shall burn them because the Most High going to rain down fire and brimstone worse than he did Sodom and Gomorrah. You know, because Yahweh also said the one that doesn't want to hear this word shall be more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah, man, than for these people. And Babylon goes into confusion and Baba, and they are spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. So all these wicked things from Sodom and Gomorrah they're doing, the worshipping of Egypt, the worshipping of ancient Babylon, is a melting pot not only of people, but also of the, you know, wickedness on the left-hand side, you know? So, they shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There shall not be a coal to warm at, nor fire to sit before it. Thus shall they be unto thee, with whom thou hast labored, even thy merchants. So, no more business. And all that, everyone will go, uh, for, uh, so let me just read on, from thy youth, they shall wander everyone to his quarter, and none shall save thee, because the Lord is going to come back, and the Lord is going to come back with superpower, you know, verse 4, Isaiah 47 and 4, um, Salachia, verse 3, thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, Thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and will not meet thee as a man. The Lord is going to come back. Yahweh Shai is coming back with superpower. All the wickedness of these devils are being re uh, revealed. And they can come with all types of legisla legislation, all types of law, uh, you know, all types of uh, laws and statutes and whatever they, they want to bring up and pass. But they can't hide their wickedness because the Lord... The Heavenly Father, Yahweh, is exposing them. And Yahweh Shai will come back. As for our Redeemer, the Lord Yahweh of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel. And he will send Yahweh Shai, man. And I don't want to make this too long. Um, I want to also go back into, um, what was it? I was going to this thing, Saragusa. Because that's her, her real name. It goes to back to Sicily. But, um, was it, man? Yeah, so this chick, you know, with her augmented uh, tits, you know, she, she, she got called out by Jake. Are those yours? Uh, yeah, and then she turned her back. <laughs> she just... Uh, they're yours if you bought them, yeah. You know? So basically, in Salah Yama, you know, this is what she is looking like, and this is the one that uh, she's a streamer and whatever. And she is, uh, her name is Caitlin Siragusa, uh, better known as Amaranth. And Amaranth goes into a flower, and a mythical flower that doesn't die. Well, you will die, and you will fade. You will fade away because of your witchcraft. So, you see, her husband controls everything, da 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 She had been married for several years and whatever. Her husband came on, online and, you know, was verbally abusing her, whatever, all boo-hoo. Threatened to, you know, delete her dogs if, if, if she did not obey his demands. So, she was seeking counsel, whatever. Uh, had regained access to her finances and and that her husband was out of her life and seeking help she came online wow oh wow and you know what it is with these things look these this this is the type of female that was selling farts you know this is what she was doing and these she allegedly like made like 33 million and she has a lot of followers and on different, uh, you know, platforms. But look what the most I did, man. She suffered from this ovarian failure, primary ovarian insufficiency. 
that means you cannot reproduce. You cannot bear children. Primary ovarian insufficiency, POI, you know, also called pre premature ovarian insufficiency, premature menopause, and it's horrible, man. As a young female, you know, everyone drooling over you, you know, all them sims. You know, she was selling, like I see Sim say, I will drink your bath water. That's why she sold her bath water. And her farts. And these mother buses are, are, are buying it. You know? These Sims keep holes alive, man. They like whole steroids, man. So. Premature menopause, premature ovarian failure is the partial or total loss of reproductive and hormonal function of the ovaries before age 40 because of the follic uh, follicular egg follic uh, the producing area, dysfunction or early loss of eggs. You know, so this is... Uh, you defer from age appropriate menopause in the age of onset, degree of symptoms, and sporadic return to the normal ovarian function. You know, so this is um, POI affects approximately one in 10,000 under the age of 20 and one in 1,000 women under age 30, and one in 100 under the age 40. So if you get this, it is, it's, it's there, but you know, you, you, you unlucky, man. <laughs> and when we say you judged, that's what it is. And also, let me see, because I had something that I also wanted to bring out, man. Um, so she's it's there, they're making, you know, juices, uh, you know, of her, it's says of her, this Polish beer company, the Old of Yoni, you know, which specializes in using va uh, vaginal yeast to produce the uh, alcoholic drink. And you see, it went into witchcraft. I showed you that in the beginning, you know, and that sign that they had on their page is this. You know? Yoni and Lingam icons are found both round and square based forms. Yoni is a symbol for the divine feminine procreative energy. You know, so they worship females, man. You know? Uh, and you can't do that. There's an order. So Galatians chapter 5 verse. Let me jump down. Hey. Um, and verse 19. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness. You following your, your pink thing. Idolatry or or female opening her upper legs for everything that 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 resembles a stick, you know, a rod. Idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulation, wrath, strife, seditions, her heresies, all types of things. You 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 you're down with idols, worshiping idols that are made of stone. But also, if you worship uh, someone. You making her or him, you know, him or her, it doesn't matter, your idol. And that's off. Witchcraft, you know, we've been in that hatred, variance, you know, emulations, all types of wickedness and lies, wrath, you know, you angry, strife, you know, always quarreling, fighting, seditions, you know, separations, heresies, you know, you, you don't want to listen to the truth. That is wickedness, envying, murders. Drunkenness, revelings, and such like. And reveling goes into the spirit of Bacchus, you know, party and bullshit, and being in, in, in uh, you know, all about orgies and stuff like that. Of the which I tell you before, as I have told you in, in time past, that they which do those things shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. You see that? You won't make it if you are down in this BS, man. You know, and I wanted to go into something else. And let me go into this. Look, uh, the website states that uh, the company uses v uh, vaginal lacto 
uh, lactobacillus from models as the key ingredient. Lactobacillus is a bacteria that also that is also used in the making of yogurt. You know, it's like uh, it goes to certain bacteria. So the order of Yoni explains the gynecologist collects a vaginal smear from the models. These smears are taken to the laboratory where bacteria are isolated, cleaned, then analyzed and multiply. You see that? At the end of the process, the bacteria are used to produce the pure lactic acid that goes into Yoni beer. And this is a damn uh, Dexerto or Dexerto. It's hilarious. People will buy it for sure. I don't know. If they actually drink it, I mean, they probably drink it. Of course, if they if you, they get in your bath water and all that, you know, buying your farts, don't you think they, you know, people out there, they, they're doing worse. So, so yeah, man. Uh, here, back to the website, I'm going to wrap it up. So, you saw that in Galatians, all types of things, like, you know, witchcraft, idolatry, vi variance, emulation, you know, which various emulation goes into, you know, all types of um, um, basically striving and striving mindset, you know, um, going against the Heavenly Father, man, you know, not being brotherly, you know, being in the spirit of sedition, not wanting to hear anything, you name it, you know, so... Um, also goes into other things with uh, like jealousy, certain uh, jealousy. But let me just focus on this because that's the point. You can look it up uh, if you want to. But uh, let me go into this. Here you see the image again. And there, it's, it's very, very clear, man. Your great God is the greatest among gods, great mother, magnet, dear, and all of them. I don't even want to. You see all of them so-called gods or goddesses thousands of years ago great goddess worshippers and priests in almost all cultures and civilizations discovered her with the capital H <laughs> some sims man her divine part laying in her deities yoni so that's uh, that's why you get the pussy worshippers man the, this is a horrible thing man the yoni is the primary tantric object of worship yeah we already went into that and look at this man with the mantle and all that it looks straight like some eyes wide shut, some grove type of outfit, man. You know? Where they have all types of orgies and all types of wickedness, man. Abominable works. You see this? Looks like some sacrificing spot, but yeah. So, <laughs> you, you can, hey, man, they put spells on this, man, no doubt. You know, here you see past and present, the order of Yoni, which is uh, which is destiny is to worship the great goddess by finding her deities and respectfully taking her sacrament. So if you take part of this as a as a female, you hey, demons gonna gonna be messing with you too, man. If they didn't already, because you have to be a damn mad demon possessed moron, you know, and wicked. To do uh, stuff like this, man. To even want to partake in this. But hey, yeah, countless depictions of influence of the Order of Yoni are found throughout history and the civilizations. I don't know if this is some serious stuff, but the thing that is there serious is the worshiping of, um, you know, female deities. That <laughs> those, you know, we've been familiar with uh, with those men. Freya, you know, Friday goes to Freya. Um, ceramicists and all them, you know, a lot of uh, like Aphrodite, Ishtar, Isis, you know, Sibel. A lot of them are being worshipped you know, on different unholy days, man. You know, so. Um, and especially in these times, man, with Christmas, uh, so called. You know, goes into uh, and in Easter, goes into um, all types of uh, Ishtar and ceramics of worship. You know, along with um, all types of other idols that people are worshiping. So, um, goes into you know also 
pussy worship, fertility, so-called worship, just like like with the Easter, with the bunnies, the bunnies, they multiply quick, you know, fertility, stuff like that. So you can read this for yourself, you know, and take a look at this. This is not something that is uh, a thing that is just a joke. You see, the action ground goes into the Israeli and Indian branches. You see here, known as the unity of both female and male powers because one goes points up or other points down, you know, for less. Uh, yeah. So you see that. Oh, you have to starve, Renfin, and all that. These people are busy with all types of witchcraft, man. You see this? So, this is not something. And, of course, they have to put some BS in it. You know? Knights of Templar. Freemasons. You see this? This is not a joke, man. I might have to come back on this. Earth and Sun Festival always goes into Bacchus, you know, Marriage Fest, you know, so Bacchus is the so-called god of uh, arousal and of wine. You see that, what they're doing? You have proof here. Others also selling farts bottled up. For thousand dollars, man. You see the whole tutorial and all that. See that? And a lot of these females, they just go out there and they, they go out with their, uh, you know, husband. And these sims are the ones that are giving these uh, females their finances. You see? But, um, you know, it has been... Let me see... So yeah, here you have it. Let me just go into that real quick. You know, revelings, comos, revel, carousal, you know, in the uh, book of Galatians. Uh, it goes into a uh, nocturnal or riotous procession of half drunken and frolics and fellows who after supper parade through the street like carnival. You know, carn carnal goes into carny, goes into carnal, is flesh. With torches and music in honor of Bacchus or some other deity, and sing, you know, like uh, uh, like was mentioned on the website. Let me see, what was it? It was uh, what was it? It was down here, the Earth and Sun Festival. Uh, and it went to, uh, all goes to, you know, the, the Canaanites, all back to these uh, Hamites, you know, and he had a great goddess, Earth, uh, fest, uh, marriage fest of Kana, you know, the great goddess, Earth, so-called, you know, and the most high is the one that makes it rain or that dries everything uh, up, yeah, puts people in the grave, back into the spirit world, and puts people in the womb, you know, uh, their spirit in the womb, and have, uh, you know, he's the one that controls life, death, everything, man. Not a bird will drop from the sky without the Lord ordaining it, you know. You will not be touched if the Lord is protecting you, and that's what it is, man. But, yeah, you know, they here they frolic, you know, they have drinking parties that are protected till late night and indulge in revelry which goes into orgies and all that riot thing, you name it. So, you know, to go on, let me see. This is something, you know, this Galatians uh, 5 and 21, you know, they won't inherit the kingdom of Yahweh, Basham, and I'm not saying like you can't drink a beer somewhere or whatever. You need to know what you're doing. I'm not saying uh, go, go out and party and bullshit, but I'm linking this to the festivities of the ancient times, you know, so, um, what was it, yeah, I wanted to visit this word in Galatians 5 and 20, 
you know, the word variance goes into errors, contention, strife, wrangling, you know, quarrel, you know, debate. You know, that should not be among uh, us. Emulations goes into zealous, excitement of mind, or their fervent, fervor of spirit, you know, get real angry and all that. Uh, zeal, order, embracing, pursuing, defending anything. You know, it depends in what manner, of course, because we are defenders of the gospel, but you should not be stubborn on some bullshit that you, uh, you know, need to let go. You know, if, if, if people uh, warn you about it, you know, trying to help you out with certain things. But there's no other thing. Um, you know, fierceness of indignation, punitive zeal, and, and envious and contentious rivalry, jealousy, you see. Uh, but yeah, that's what it is. But the woman is uh, of the man, you know, the man is not of the woman. Because um, the woman is, let me see, let me just go to the point. You can read the order here, you know, First Corinthians 11, verse Eight, for the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. For this cause ought the woman to have power on her head because of the angels. And nevertheless, neither is the man without the woman. Neither is the woman without the man in the Lord. Because, you know, you need one another to procreate and all that. But the thing is, the man is above the woman. And that's it. You see? So, uh, let me see. Well, basically, you know, that is the point. These female worshippers are sims. So, I'll like one more for, you know, the so called simp scripture. Let me go into, you didn't even want to go into it so long, but a, a lot of extra things came up. But, um, let me go to the book of First Ezra, chapter four and twenty-one. And you can go to multiple other scriptures that show you that you know you don't you know Proverbs thirty-one don't give you strength to women you know and all that. Uh, so like at four and twenty-six, of course. First Ezra four and twenty-six. Yeah, many and you can start a little bit up. Yeah. Many there be that have run out of their wits for women and become servants for their sakes. Many also have perished, have erred, and you know, went off, made errors, and sinned. Went against the Most High for women. You see that? So, there's a lot uh, that you can um, get into by these, you know, by the worshiping of females, which the woman is a possession, you know. Uh, Sirach 36 and 24 of the man. You know, you can go to all types of scriptures concerning the order. A woman should not usurp authority of a man, but that's a whole other thing. This goes into the simp worship and witchcraft. So basically with that, I wanted to say Shalom.